<laughs> Alright, what's up you guys? So if y'all watched my last video, that was the highlight of my season. I caught my personal best bass on a swim bait nonetheless, which was pretty awesome. So I figured with this video, we're going to go in a different direction and kind of just show the flip side of swim bait fishing. I've already done one video similar to this this year, but I wanted to kind of circle back and uh, just follow up after that. The highlight brings some of the lowlights of the season so far. And a lot of these clips are from the same day or just a couple days of fishing. There are a couple one-offs, but uh, legit in this video, there's, I think, believe three clips from the day after I caught my personal best and then one clip that the GoPro cut out on. Um, so it's not in here, but it just, it kind of goes to show. So I went out there uh, that day that I caught my PB. I caught another fish on a big live bait and then uh, went the next day and broke off a fish and dumped three other ones. So it, it just goes to show, especially, uh, at least for me, I know there's some guys go out there and just, you know, crush them, but there's a lot of ups and downs. Some days you go out there and you can't do anything wrong and the next day you might go out there and you can't do anything right. So I just kind of want to show that in this video. And one more thing before we jump into the video, the last fish on this video, I I'm gonna break down a little bit more because I just want to highlight some things and uh, because that was a giant fish that I lose here but uh, yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video and till next time later y'all
guys, so this is the clip that I wanted to talk about. I'm gonna run it through normal speed and then we'll run it back. I'm gonna slow it down and explain a few things to y'all. So here it goes. So first thing guys, I've already made a cast similar to this. So you can see where my bait lands. I threw past the tip of those reeds and it brought that bait through there. So I don't know if this fish had came out the first time. You know, saw it maybe pushed out to edge a little bit further. Um, but I think this just goes to show how important angles are because I essentially made it the same cast or brought my bait within less than a foot of where I swam it. Uh, I believe it was like three or four casts before this. And um, then I get bit. But you guys can kind of see right here. I'm just not in it. Um, really didn't, wasn't expecting a bite. And she <clears throat> just yanks the rod out of my hand. Everything locked up right away. I didn't even, you know, let her eat or take the bait at all. I just cracked her instantly when she bit, bit the bait. So this is really what I wanted to touch on right here, other than my mistakes. But when I hit this fish, this is the first time, especially with this heavy of gear, that I've hit a fish and there was no movement at all. So I set the hook, and it's just dead weight. You guys can't really tell from the boil that she put off, but this fish was an absolute giant. Um, I'm thinking this fish was probably bigger than my PB that I just recently caught. So it's very upsetting. But as I'm reeling down, I don't know if you can tell. This is why, why I wanted to slow it down, though, is as I'm reeling She's not moving. It's just loading the rod more and more and more. She is just just an absolute monster of a fish. Um, and I can't do anything with her at this point. And unfortunately, the hook pulls. Um, but this was prob this is probably the biggest heartbreak. And since this has happened, I haven't been able to get this fish out of my head, honestly. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. Uh, I completely messed up on this this fish right here. I should have let her eat a little bit. I just was not mentally in it. I think that's a very large or big part of swim bait fishing is just always thinking you're going to get bit so you don't make these mistakes. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please comment below.